Now, this is the type of software that you should always have on your PC. It doesn't require any installation, so you can place it wherever you want and use it whenever you need it. And I promise you that sooner or later you will need this software. But first, let's start with the cause and why would you need it. If you are like me and your drive is full but you don't know why, as you can see here I just have 200 gigabytes free out of a 1 terabyte drive, but the problem is I have nothing installed on that drive or nothing stored on that drive that should be so big. Video, music, picture, downloads, documents, all these files are empty and all my games are saved on the secondary drive, on the D drive because there I have more space. So maybe you are in this situation like I am right now and you want to figure this out and in order to figure this out we need to dig up in the past like 15 years in the past because this software is actually from 2009 but is still as relevant and important today as it was back then in your browser simply search for space sniffer exactly space sniffer in one word and click on the first link once you're on the website you can clearly see by the way it looks that we are dealing with ancient technology here for example this program was tested on windows 2000 xp vista 7 and 8 but no worries it will work extremely well on windows 10 or 11 and probably will work on all windows versions to come hopefully to get the file click on download and you'll get this .exe file which doesn't require any installation at all. Just double click on it to open, select the drive you need to scan, in my case is the C drive, click on start and let it do its magic. I personally always love to see how all these blocks form and divide and spread and whatever. But what this actually means is that the program displays a graphic representations of your files and folders with larger boxes representing larger files and folders obviously so basically the bigger the block the bigger the problem like in my case as you can see windows is the biggest block on the block with no more and no less than 644 gigabytes now all jokes aside there is absolutely no reason why windows should occupy that much space so to figure out what this is and why it occupies so much space just click on the block First click here shows me that the biggest folder in Windows is the virtual hard disks with 463 gigs. And another click on it shows me all the virtual disks which by the way I don't use anymore and I thought that I deleted them all. In Hyper-V as you can see I am just running one Windows 11 VM and the rest I just deleted. But the problem is I deleted them the stupid way by just simply right click and then delete. And my big brain thought that that was that. That's okay, I'm good at it and the files are gone. Now, to locate the file or folder without much fuss, just right click on the block, hit properties, copy the file location and paste it in file explorer. Now here I will delete all the drives I don't need and just keep the one that I'm using. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm very smart with my words today. Now the C drive has enough space on it and if we take a look at Space Sniffer in Windows folder is now down to 82 gigs and that is because of the virtual drive I left undeleted. Of course you can check other blocks if you wish like for example here at App Data Local I have over 20 gigs in temporary files which I will delete also in the same method with right click properties because it's pretty fast and I will also delete the cache in the network service which is also over 20 gigs of space that I could save. But just be careful. Do some research first do not start please do not start deleting blocks of files and folders just because they occupy a lot of space do some checking do some googling see if they affect in any way your system if you delete them and if you have any doubts just leave them where they are delete what you are completely sure it's safe to delete or you will very fast and absolutely without any introduction meet the blue screen of death okay now that was it cheers bye subscribe